what if I told you 2020 has been a fantastic year? Would you agree with me? If I tell you, my journey started in Wuhan in 2019, December, and I've been traveling all around the world, enjoying my life, and I don't really care about quarantine measures, travel restrictions, and about social distancing. And by now, you probably recognize me. I am Mrs. Coronavirus, better known as COVID-19. I'm not a typical virus. I am a super virus. I infected more than 55 million people worldwide in a year. And I can make people sick. I can make people die. And I'm everywhere and no one can see me. And I of course love all the public places, crowded places, and I love when people touch their faces, eyes, nose, and mouth, because that creates a great opportunity to travel to my next destination, which is human lungs. For me, human lungs are just like a five-star hotel where I am the VIP guest. And once inside the lungs, I use my corona receptors, which are just like keys to get inside. Next, silly lung cells, which are unaware of what's truly happening, execute all of my instructions. My instructions are simple. Copy and reassemble more viruses. And when there is just enough number of viruses, I give my final order to lung cells. Kill yourself so that newly produced viruses can spread beyond one lung, one lung cell and spread to more lungs. So in that way, I cause severe injury to the lungs and people become short of breath. Unfortunately, I experienced a few bumps on my way, like government officials telling people wear masks, wash your hands, and I really hate when they do that. Now, I'm even more scared because people are using dreaded V word, V not for virus, but vaccine. And I'm so much concerned, but I want to travel and spread my virus more to more and more places. So I ask for your help. Please help me hug each other, shake hands with, with each other, and even better, shake hands with me. Thank you, Shakista. That was absolutely fantastic. Um, well, should I say COVID-19? Actually, from now, I'm going to address you as COVID-19 because I've got a really Mrs. good... Mrs. Coronavirus, you can address like this. Ah, oh, fantastic. So, coronavirus, can I ask, how adaptable are you? So, when you land in different places, for example, um, and people send up the vicious V for you, the vaccine, um, how adaptable are you um, around those vaccines? I am actually, you know, I'm very vibrant. I am very dynamic and I can make so many mutations. I make mutations very frequently and uh, I cope. Even when there is a vaccine, I will still be making some more mutations and survive in very hostile environment of humans. Thank you. Um, hello, Mrs. Coronavirus. You have been quite difficult for all of us this year, I have to say. Um, I also want to know how many cousins do you have, you know, who else are we going to get to meet in the next few years? Oh, I can tell only about the past because I cannot predict the future, you know, and I don't want to tell my secrets yet. So I have cousins um, who also caused a very much problem in the past, like in 1993 in different countries, and I will reveal only those secrets. Unfortunately, I'm sorry to say that I cannot share all of the details about our future because we want to survive, you know, we are also uh, like wanting to live. Uh, I'm, I'm very sorry to hear that. <laughs> Thank you. I have, I have a little question for, for you. Uh, Shakista, thank thank you for your for your talk. That was great, Miss Coronavirus. And uh, my talk is about the the way you try to communicate your science. So there is in in Spain there is a Twitter account uh, which is Coronavirus. It's a fake parody account which has uh, close to a million followers so far. 
and it's, very, it's been very successful in communicating a delicate matter, matter with humor. So what are your thoughts about that? How, what do you think about how is it to communicate some delicate matters like coronavirus with using humor? Mm. Uh, can you specify, like uh, rephrase your question? Yeah, so some people may, may think that uh, using humor for communicating things are so delicate is not the right thing to do. But what are your thoughts about this? Because it is quite successful and I agree with that. Uh, I think it's one of the like greatest ways uh, of communicating because, you know, people are, especially at uh, like at this time, uh, people are all like very unhappy, maybe because of the isolation and, uh, you know, there is there should be some sort of uh, joy, maybe inspiration, laughter, so that people actually get the information. Like, you know, people are tired of giving, like uh, being given commands and, uh, you know, that's really makes everybody exhausted. But I think it's much fun, f more fun and easier to explain them in, in another, like, perspective, from another perspective. Okay, thank you. Well done. <laughs>